three weeks since I have uploaded anything or filmed anything. And I'm finally back. Nobody missed me. <laughs> Nobody wondered where I am, but here I am. Um, today I have an unboxing slash just shopping haul that... <laughs> Yeah, okay, I went to Japan. So, I have a little bit of a shopping haul over here. It's gonna be messy, but the main item um, that I wanna unbox here are these. Yes, an yet another pair of Onitsuka Tigers. I know, I have a problem. I just deal with it. But this time, it's actually from Japan. And let me just... These shoes are a hundred dollars cheaper. Wait, no, sorry, 140 SGD. So a hundred dollar, like a hundred US dollars cheaper than how much it would cost if you bought it from US. Yeah. So yeah, that's crazy. So let's see what I got. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yes, I know. I mean, don't you already have the yellow pair of shoes? Yes, I do. Do I need another pair? I probably do, which is probably where I got it. But these are the Nippon made. Nippon means Japan. Japan made um, Onitsuka. What are they called? They are called the Tai Chi NM Tiger Yellow slash Black. It's the Tai Chi Onitsuka um, Japan made model. Look at them. Oh my god, aren't they gorgeous? Look at it. And then there's like this that says made in Japan. Cool shoes. Look, look at how smooth that leather is. God. Do note that this leather would wrinkle. Um, yeah, it's new and look at it. It's wrinkled already from just me trying it on. But I guess it is the look. Um, what do you think of these? What do you think of these shoes? I think that they are so cool. By the way, these shoes, they run super, super small. And the reason um, is because they are super narrow. So I actually got Euro 39 for these when I'm actually a Euro 37.5. <laughs> what do you think of these shoes? Do you think that they are um nice i i got these for 239 sgd and that's after tax refund before tax refund it's 249 sgd and in singapore if i were to buy these these would be 370 <coughs> sorry 370 um singaporean dollars and in us dollars i would say that these cost me roughly 190 us dollars right now um yeah so it's a lot cheaper i don't know about us um the us website or like the us on itsukas but um compared to the singapore on itsuka shops and retail it is 140 sgd cheaper so yeah i'm really happy about them they are a brighter yellow by the way compared to the Mexico 66. I'm just gonna bring them over right now. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison. They are a brighter yellow, look at that. And then this is more like a mustardy, a darker yellow. Um, and no, it's not because it's dirty, by the way. It is exactly like this. And this is a brighter, um, more radiant yellow okay i've been like just looking at too many like pokemon cards lately yeah but it's more radiant and shiny kind of bright yellow while this is more mustardy so this is the mexico 66 i actually um wanted to get the mexico 66 sd of the yellow ones because they have more cushioning and that's what i was going for because i really like these yellow shoes so i was like okay i want a more comfortable pair so i was like I should get the Mexico 66 ST in Japan because I know they're probably a lot cheaper. But then they were all sold out. So they only had this, the Tai Chi one. And so I got it. Um, 
I'm glad I didn't purchase these online because you have to go to the store to try it on for yourself because these do run really small as I've mentioned just now um, and you really have to try it on for yourself to know if these fit you. Um, yeah, these are the Kill Bill, the exact pair of Kill Bills, if I'm not wrong. Um, they, you know the movie Kill Bill, these are the exact pair of shoes that the actor wore. What do you think? I think they were super cool. It's like some sort of upgrade from this. But I would totally get it if someone said they prefer this more than this because of the detailing here. Oh my god, I'm like... The detailing over here, I totally get it. And the flap here. Honestly, I love both of these shoes. And if you told me to pick one, I don't even know which one I pick. Because they're both so nice, like, in their own way. You know what I mean? Like so nice i just hate that this flap always goes up like it doesn't stay down like this but yeah um this is how the shoe looks super cool um and then inside over so inside it has this like oh my god i'm like you can't even see properly i don't even know why i did that this thing <laughs> where it says like on it's like a stripe styled stories and it's like this yeah, so the Japan-made shoes would have this thing. I'm gonna try it on now for you to see how it looks. <clears throat> oh, so sorry about that. And if you're not okay with um, going two sizes up because you think that the shoe has become too long, like, okay, look at how, how much different it is. Right, one is significantly longer, right? I don't know, I don't know, is it even significantly longer? Actually, I don't know, maybe. Okay, yeah, but this is a 37.5. No, 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 sorry. This is a 38 and this is a 39, I think. Wait. Yeah, okay, this is a Euro 38 and this is a Euro 39. So one size up, I guess. Yeah. But the reason why I said go two sizes up is because I'm usually 37.5. And for Onitsuka, I actually have to wear 38 and it's still a bit, like, tight. I should actually get 38.5. But from my understanding, I think they go immediately up to 39. I don't know. I, I, but anyways, I'm going to try them on now. Okay, so in case you haven't noticed, in my background, I have a Pikachu plate and a Kirby stuffed toy and a bunch of just random stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk about that later. But this is how the shoes look on me. They are a little to the long side, like they're a long shoe because it is size 39 um but i think that that could be like a thing like the whole long shoe thing could be a thing i don't know like it's like long and thin maybe it could be a thing it could be like a i don't know like a dr zeus lorex themed <laughs> You know the Lorex creatures where they have like the big foot, like the long big foot, but yeah. Um, <laughs> can't wait to check how the shoe actually looks on me in the clip later. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are long. Because, yeah, they are long. And for you to get the size right, they have to be long because it's narrow so unless you have like a really narrow foot then i guess maybe you could get like you know the size that you originally get or something like that but these are some long shoes <laughs> okay but yeah i love these shoes i think they're super cool i do wish that they were a little shorter maybe i don't know it could be a thing long shoes especially if you're wearing like jeans right that like kind of cover your whole ankle these shoes would pop out of those jeans because it's longer you know what i mean like people would see that pop of yellow at the bottom because it's so long okay anyways just stop talking about how long it is um the next unboxing item is something that you would have not expected but maybe you would depending on what i put on the title <laughs> okay but it's this now, you're probably really curious what this is, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. I got... Oh, okay, that was just not dramatic whatsoever because it just won't pop open. I got... It just... 
Okay, I got, ta-da! I got these Japanese um, sandals, slippers. I don't know the name for it. I'm gonna search it out and correct myself. I haven't even tried them on to see if they fit me at the store because the lady just told me it fit to fit. So I believe her because she's a professional footwear seller. No, she's not. She's not. And I'm gonna put these sandals on and see how they look. You're supposed to walk, wear socks with these, by the way. So this is how they look on me. What do you guys think, man? I think it's more of a home vibe. Because I don't think these are for like really wearing out tea anyways, but I mean you could if you wanted to, you know, but like probably wouldn't. But look at these cool Japanese sandals. Are they comfortable? Let me try to walk around. I can tell you that they are not comfortable. They feel like they're going to come off my foot anytime. Um, yeah, so that's how they look. Um, yeah, that's how that. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of stupid little things that I got that I find super adorable, but is pointless. So let's go. And as you can see, the back side of my room has decluttered a lot. <sighs> yeah. So the first thing that I got that is stupid is this. This Yoshi head hat thingy that you wear when you're in Universal Studios Japan. I'm not gonna put it on because it's gonna mess up my hair. Second useless thing I got, stupid little Mario puppet. <laughs> Don't ask me. Next thing I got, this super cool, I think this wins everything. This is super cool hat head thingy. Um, it's Velcro over here, and you just go over here like that, and then you, t yeah. Okay, so browser, browser. Is that how you say it? Browser, browser, browser. Okay. Next thing is this claw machine Kirby that my boyfriend won for me. Okay, next, it's this um, little fella. But I'm quite sad because I put this in a washing machine and the chain has matted a bit instead of being like shiny. But yeah. This little ghost lamp. You can turn on the lights, by the way. And at the bottom, it's like this. So when it's dark, um, the floor would have this print, this ghost print on it, basically. It's like this floor. Lamp. The next thing that I got is this Harry Potter owl's hat. Um, the owl's eyes can only be seen if you actually like lift up the plush fur which is a little bit annoying, but I guess it's a look as well. It's the Harry Potter owl's hat. <laughs> and then there's the owl's headband, which the eyes also can't be seen unless you adjusted it, which is a pretty annoying owl's headband. And then we have this Gengar backpack. I know, oh my God, right? <laughs> It's so cool. So this is, um, my boyfriend and I are sharing this backpack. It has a zip at the back. You can put stuff in. Oh, what's in here? Oh, there's a piece of gum in here. So yeah. Ganger backpack, super cool. This is probably my favorite, one of my, okay, one of my favorite. I'm gonna say that for everything, okay. Thing we got from Universal Studios Japan is this little water sling. I'm pretty sure if you've been there, you know about this thing. It's just a water bottle. You open it by like unscrewing the bottom, by the way. Wow. <laughs> this water bottle that Malcolm got because he liked this better, which I regret I didn't get this one instead because that one just keeps like toppling over and spilling everything out. The thing I got is this bag. Okay, this bag does not have all these things on. I just kind of added it on. But this bag is plain on its own like this. It's Kirby, by the way, if you don't know. And on Kirby bag, I got the Kirby um, little keychain thingy. 
And then I also got this. This is from Universal Studios Japan, this little charm keychain. It's from Super Nintendo World. So yeah, I added it on this bag because it fits perfectly with Kirby's theme, along with this little Kirby keychain. And at the back, we have a little showcase. You know, you can show off little things you have of Kirby. And so this is what I show off over here. It's this little Kirby section with tiny Kirby and Squirtle and Charmander and this little other Kirby keychain that I got. And then I have this as well. It's a Gengar um, coin pouch keychain, which is so fucking cool. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, you can put in your AirPods too. Um, so this is one of the stupid things I got. Another stupid thing I got is this. I'm just gonna break it down again because it did not come with all that keychain. I got this, um, it, what is this called? I forgot suddenly. Um, crossed, what, something shoulder. Cross shoulder. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. Cross body, oh my God. Cross body bag. It looks like this, it's a Melody cross body bag. Isn't that so cute? And then I just put on the this Kirby keychain. I'm obsessed with Kirby right now. Um, and then there's this little star that says E on it. And then over here on this side, I have my Hello Kitty keychain and this other Japan Hello Kitty keychain. Um, and that's how it looks. And then on the back, Ta-da! It's my display again. Um, Japan likes to have bags that have this like kind of transparent thing going on where you can display like posters or stickers or just anything like DIY kind of thing. So I have this Melody comb um, here. It's this hairbrush Melody. And then I have this compact little, wait, just gonna show you first, compact little mirror with a little tiny comb. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna use it ever, but it's just so cute, right? <laughs> and then, if you notice the details on here, this is the Sesame Street little zipper charms that I hung on the bag. Look at that, isn't that so cute? Okay, nobody cares. But yeah, this is one of the purchases I made and there's these little badges on here that I stuck on, um, Kurumi and Hello Kitty badges. Isn't that so cute? It's a tiny little Kirby pouch where you could put, I don't know, coins or jewelry or whatever. So cute. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. And then I have Bulbasaur, little display piece from USJ. Um, and then I have this from a gacha machine. I love, by the way, um, I love the Venusaur, so yeah. I'm so happy I got this from the gacha. And then there's this little shark from USJ. And then there's this little, I forgot his name, but I know it in Cantonese, named Bao Chiyun. Super cute from the gacha machine as well. These two Pikachu plates. It's so cute. Oh my god. From Pokemon Center, Pokemon Cafe to be exact. Um, sadly, I didn't get to go to the Pokemon Cafe, but I did like as in to eat because you have to make a reservation, but I did get to buy the merchandise from there. But I also got this curvy little um, pouch you can put stuff in. I know I am a little bit obsessed with the whole Kirby situation right now. It's not okay. The Kirby craze started when my boyfriend got me this from the claw machine in the Kirby, so that's what happened. Is I got this tin that had cookies inside from Pokemon Center, super cool. The little stuff I got, little charms from Pokemon Center, the Gengar charm, and just Bubasaur, super cute clips that I wore actually right now. Can you even see? Like, can you even see? I but anyways, um, got little clips like this, super cute, putting, <laughs> my favorite clip is probably this Melody clip and Kurumi clip that I really like. This is, this and the Melody clip is probably my favorite one. 
And then I have this Kurumi charm. So cute. Oh my god. And just a bunch of useless stickers that I got. Um, okay. Yeah, I have this one and this one as well. It's the same thing. It opens up like this. And then there's a tiny mirror, which there's a film on. That's why it's a bit... Um, it doesn't look super like mirrory and clean because there's a you could peel it off but i don't want to peel it off tiny comb mirror compact same as this one Ugh, so cute oh my god i don't even know what to title this video right now <laughs> some other things that i got from the pokemon center is this notebook um it comes like with five notebook designs there's like pikachu gengar um forgot it's a clefairy or what they forgot and there's eevee so it comes in a set it's like one whole set of notebooks super cool stuff super cool i love it um and this is not um from japan this is actually from australia but i don't think i've shown this but there's this gengar notebook oh it's so nice isn't it it's like a plush gengar notebook look at that that is so cool. So that my closet is open, but look at this cool shirt I got from Japan. I don't even know which like cartoon or anime this is from. She told me, but I totally forgot. It's called something Go Go Go. But look at that. Isn't this such a cool little just like long sleeved shirt? And look at the back. Look at that. The detail of this is beautiful. It's a beautiful graphic um, uh, long sleeve tee. It's um, made in Japan as well, so that's always nice. Um, it's from this place. I don't. I don't even know. We bought it at like this metro station that sold all these like um, stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> it's at Tokyo Station. Um, there's this Ultraman shirt that my boyfriend bought, which is super, super, super nice. And the back looks like this. Isn't that so cool? But yeah, Japan has like the coolest things ever. And it's just, I mean, you know, like, what do you even do about that kind of stuff? It's just a lot of dinero, you know. <laughs> a lot of dinero needed to be spent. Okay. But yeah, um, that is it for my very messy and just inconclusive haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am going to film my next video now. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'm gonna start saying this, but do give my video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, just to let me know that you enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching if you did watch until here and I'll see you when I do see you. Goodbye.